Hello everybody and welcome back to another Wii Homebrew tutorial video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Open Shop channel on your Nintendo Wii. The Open Shop channel is a project that revives the old Homebrew browser that allows you to download a variety of Homebrew applications over the internet right from your console. Let's get right into it. Just like in my other Homebrew tutorials, you're going to need a few things to get everything up and running. First up is a Homebrewed Nintendo Wii. Second is either an SD card or a USB drive formatted to the FAT32 file system. You'll need to plug this into your computer, so if you decide to go the SD card route and don't have an SD card slot on your machine, you'll have to purchase an SD to USB adapter, which will cost you anywhere from $5 to $10. I'll have one linked down below. And finally is, you guessed it, a computer. In this case, it doesn't matter if you're running Windows, Mac OS, or Linux. Start by opening up your web browser and going to oscwii.org. I'll also have this link in the video description. Click on the download button in the center of the page to download the zip file and then extract it. Next, plug in your SD card or USB drive. If you aren't already using your drive with the Homebrew channel, you'll need to create a new folder on the root of the device named Apps. It's inside of this folder where you'll need to copy the homebrew underscore browser folder from the zip file that you downloaded. Once this copies over, you're done with this portion of the setup. You can now remove your drive and plug it into the Wii. Next, power on your Wii console and make sure it is connected to the internet. Then launch the homebrew channel. If you've copied the files over correctly, you'll see a new option on the screen labeled Homebrew Browser. Click on this and then click Load. The Homebrew Browser will start up and download its necessary files and then take you to the main interface. And that's it! With the Homebrew Browser, you're now able to download a variety of Homebrew applications right from your console. See, normally if you wanted to download something like USB Loader GX, for instance, you would have to download the application's files on your computer and copy them over to your Wii, just like we did earlier in this video. With the Homebrew browser, it's as simple as clicking on the app you want and pressing download. Once it finishes, you'll be able to exit back to the Homebrew channel and you'll see the application listed. This new Homebrew browser has a lot to offer. You can theme your Wii menu, turn your console into a web or FTP server, check out some independently created games, and even install emulators, including DOSBox, which we will be checking out in a future video. Now for those of you who have used the Homebrew browser before, all of this probably looks identical to what you've seen. That's because the Open Shop channel is essentially a revival of this project, which adds new Homebrew applications that were previously not available on the Homebrew browser. The project actually started as an attempt to replace the Wii Shop channel, which is where it gets its name. However, the developers eventually decided to focus on reviving the Homebrew browser instead. So that's it everybody. That is how easy it is to install the Open Shop channel on your Nintendo Wii. Have fun checking out the variety of applications available, and hey, if this is your first modification you've done to your console, I'd like to welcome you to the world of Wii homebrewing. If you want to check out some of the other cool stuff you can do with your console, check out this playlist with all of the other homebrew related tutorials that I've made. And if this video helped you, be sure to give it a like and get subscribed. And as always, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.